Good evening and welcome to News 9. I'm Nolan Pinto. Now, if you thought the city was just unsafe for women, then hold on to your thoughts. An incident of mugging has come to light in one of the busiest roads in the city. And this time, it's a male techie who has fallen prey. One look at this road and you would surely recognize it. This is the road right opposite the Kormangla bus depot. It was just a couple of days ago when a techie walking on this road was faced with one of the scariest encounters of his life. August 9th, 2014. 7.30 p.m. It was like any other busy Saturday. The road was brimming with traffic and people. At around 7.30 in the evening, a techie was walking on this footpath when two men approached the man as if they wanted to know the time. While the techie pulled out his phone, the men pointed a knife at him and threatened to stab him. Their demands were simple. They wanted everything he had. Money, phone and his valuables. Well, the techie refused to reveal his identity, but he did narrate the entire horror story. Let's listen to what he has to say. On a Saturday night, I was walking down this lane uh, around about 7.30 in the evening. And uh, I was just walking to one of my friend's place and two guys just came and uh, they asked for the time and uh, I was just looking at the watch in the meanwhile they just uh, took, pulled out a knife and they showed it to me and then uh, they held me tight and then asked me to remove my purse and my uh, mobile and one guy he actually took my purse and the other guy he was trying to snatch my mobile and uh, I tried to resist them and uh, they attacked, with the, attacked me with knife and I got a wound and I didn't realize it at that point of time but then I was trying to fight them off. They were trying to hit me and punch me and all that. And at the same time there was two other guys who came from behind. They started kicking me and uh, punching me again. And I screamed for help but then uh, nobody didn't notice or anything as such. Uh, so it was pretty uh, shocking moment uh, for me because I've been here in Bangalore for a while and I know people are really helpful but then at that point of time nobody came to my help. I had a cut on my hand so right between my index finger and my thumb so I had to get like uh, 12 stitches. The do doctor initially told me six, uh, 6 or 9 stitches will do but then it went on to 10 and 11 and on my finger I got like 3 stitches. The Kormangala police who took up the case have been working swiftly to nab the four men. They have zeroed in on a few suspects and are confident to put them behind bars very soon. In this city, it's clearly not just women, but also men who are unsafe. So what can be done to make the city safe? More police patrolling the streets and more surveillance cameras. Well, is the government listening? Deepak Bopanna for News 9. Well, a shocking incident indeed, but the police have acted swiftly as well based on the victim's complaint. DCP Rohini also reacted to the shocking incident and has stated that four people have been remanded. Do take a look. In Kormangla Police Station on 8th, 8th August, a uh, reported robbery was reported in which one person in who's working as a BPO employee has reported that on 7th when he was going through Kormangala on the 60 feet road, four boys, young boys have come and assaulted him whereby trying to steal his purse and his mobile phone and while doing so has also caused some injuries to him by having a stab injury on the hand in which he was later has taken some uh, first aid and later he has come and given us complaint. Complaint has already been registered in Kormanga police station. After due investigation we have also apprehended four accused. In fact you just heard what uh, the DCP had to say about uh, this particular case but uh, as of now, four people have been uh, taken into custody. Who's working as a BPO employee has reported that on 7th when he was going through... Well, an under construction bridge collapsed in Bijapur, killing four people on the spot. The bridge collapsed in the Jamaldini village in Bijapur. Rescue personnel are at the spot along with the district administration. In fact, you can clearly see over there uh, rescue personnel going about uh, with their work. But four people have lost their lives in this particular accident. An under construction bridge has collapsed over there. You can clearly see that uh, the situation right over there.
In fact, uh, we're just getting some more information that four people have been injured. As of now, no, no casualties have been reported. Our sources tell us that uh, four workers have been injured in this particular under construction bridge that collapsed in Bijapur. Rescue personnel are at the spot. You can see a JCB also being utilized over there. Now, the biggest problem for the rescue personnel would be to try and figure out if any other workers are trapped under the debris. And the debris over there, apart from uh, cement, would also be iron rods. Now, for more on this, I'm joined in by my colleague uh, Harish. Harish, uh, do we know how exactly this under construction bridge collapsed? What led to it? Well, uh, it, it, it will be too premature for uh, both the rescue officials as well as the structural engineers present at the location to assess what might have uh, went wrong. But the preliminary information that's coming in right now is, uh, Nolan, this was a bridge that was uh, being constructed in uh, Mudebihal uh, area of uh, the Bijapur uh, district. And what we understand is uh, late evening is when this under construction bridge collapsed, after which uh, uh, several workers were uh, trapped. It's believed that four workers were uh, trapped and uh, one of them was caught uh, under the debris. Four of them were pulled out immediately. One more person of uh, Orisha, uh, Rupmand, was trapped and he was given uh, oxygen from the spot itself. And later on, we understand he too has been pulled out. Now uh, the de debris is being uh, removed from the area to see if uh, any more workers are trapped under underneath the debris. They're also talking to the survivors who have been pulled out, workers who have been pulled out to try and see if any of them know that uh, there were more people who were under this bridge uh, which collapsed. And uh, it's not just, as you rightly mentioned, not just uh, concrete, a lot of uh, iron and other structural materials too has uh, collapsed and uh, it is being removed on a war footing to try and see if they can uh, uh, try and survive or try and rescue any more survivors, Nolan. Right, uh, Harish, thank you very much uh, for all those uh, details. In fact, uh, four workers have been pulled out from under the debris. We're told that uh, they have suffered serious injuries. As of now, no casualties, but uh, the rescue personnel are taking a head count by talking to or speaking to all the survivors and the workers, trying to figure out if all of them are accounted for. Now, the protests entered day 25, but not much has changed for the KPSC aspirants who are relentlessly fighting for their rights. It was a day of slogan chanting and speeches. They started off wishing Siddharamaya on his 66th birthday. The greetings carried sarcasm and pain that the aspirants were experiencing, and they urged the CM to give them a chance. The allegations against whistleblower Dr. Maitri continued stating how she made 12 calls to a KPSC member. There was also a written letter of recommendation by Minister Satish Jarkeholi as alleged by CS Dwarka not favoring Dr. Maitri. Maitri is the assistant commissioner of 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 the assistant ಈ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸಸ್ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಸಿಐಡಿ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅಥವಾ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋಂತಹ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಪ್ರಜಾ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಈ ಪ್ರಜಾ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯ ಅನ್ನುವಂತದ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ನ್ಯಾಯಗಳಿಗಿಂತಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಮೀರಿದ್ದಿದು ಪ್ರಜಾ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯಗಳ ಮುಂದಗಡೆ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಜನಗಳು ಕೇಳುವಂತ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನು ಯಾಕೆ ಮೈತ್ರಿನ ಅರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೈತ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ದಿ ವಿಸಲ್ ಬ್ಲೋ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕೆಪಿಎಸ್ಸಿ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾನ್ but as fresh allegations flew, Dr. Maitri responded saying that she will file a defamation case against HD Kumar Swami for making allegations against her. Nan one Kumar Swami or Agli, Inno Bragli, Kedo the Kista Partini, is the Akle Gala Jinainity in one Antakantado. Modle Dagi, Nan call details records in access Mada the Adikara Irodo, Tanika the Karigalke Matra Amato. यार सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इधर है आउरी के आ मेले कस्टमर आदर ननी के योर मूर जन के बिट्टू बेरे याव दे व्यक्ति गुनु पर्सनल आगेर तक अंता मैटर्स ना स्क्रूटिनी मार्ड अधिकार है इल्ला इल्ली मीनवाइल बीजेपी व्हिच इज बीन कंस्पिक्युअसली क्वाइट सर्डनली रेस्पोंडेड हियर इज व्हाट फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर स हाइट ऑफ नॉनसेंस ही तो, सो सुप्रीम कोर्ट तो बड़ा क्लियर आ गयी थी, 
should those honest candidates be compelled to suffer without there being any fault on their part just because few people uh, just because the respondents find it difficult to segregate the cases of tainted candidates from the other candidates meanwhile by late afternoon another fasting protester ashok who was badly dehydrated was rushed into an ambulance and rushed to the kc general hospital if 25 days of protests have failed to change the government's decision what will bansi kalapa for news 9 bengaluru